Hello viewers, greetings to you and welcome to my channel as usual. Please let me know where you're watching from. Now, uh, if you have a load, 500 watts load, what size of battery bank do you need for this load? Maybe 100 watts, 200 watts, uh, 500 watts, 6 or 1000 watts load. What size of battery bank do you need? Normally, it is good for you to carry out a load audit or a load analysis to know, you know, the number of loads, the power rating of the loads and their runtime hours. And, uh, you know, from there, you'll be able to calculate the daily energy consumption of those loads because uh, most times if you have a 500 watts load and you have different appliances or devices that sum up to this load, it is not all the appliances uh, that will be on uh, for the given number of hours you're going to use the solar system. So uh, if you have a load analysis table, from the load analysis table, you'll be able to separate all the loads, have the individual loads. You know that this one is going to run for two hours, for three hours, for four hours. And from there, you'll be able to know the total daily energy consumption of all those loads. But most times, if you're making use of 500, 200, what size of battery bank do I need for a 300 watt load? You may be oversizing that solar system because not all the appliances will be running or you'll be using them at the same time. So if you do a proper load audit, you may discover that, you know, your energy consumption or your power usage may not be up to, uh, you know, the amount you are going to use if we we are true with this calculation. But if you are rest assured that you have a total power rating of 500 watts and you are going to use that complete 500 watts for maybe three hours, four hours, or five hours, then you can make use of this method. But if you are not sure of uh, the number of hours you are going to use for the individual loads, some maybe three hours, some two hours, some for just 30 minutes, some you'll be using it for using them for 20 minutes or for you know uh, one hour 30 minutes then uh, this uh, uh, method of summing up the total wattage of the loads and multiplying by the runtime hours may be giving you a wrong you know calculation and it will lead you to oversizing the solar power system but if you are rest assured that your load is 200 watt 300 watt 400 watt 500 watt uh, in the example we are going to use uh, then you can use this method. So if you have a 500 watt load and you want to calculate the size of battery bank you're going to use uh, uh, for that load, uh, there are a few steps you're going to take. We have step one. The first step is that you multiply this power rating by the runtime hours because we need the total daily energy consumption of the loads to size the battery bank and the solar panels. But here we want to size the battery bank. We want to choose the size of battery bank that will be able to uh, match with this load. So the first step is multiply uh, this wattage by your runtime hours. So for this calculation, we are going to use make use of uh, six hours. So it will be five hundred watts multiplied by six hours will give us 3000 watts hour so this is the total daily energy consumption of this load if you are using it for six hours every day 500 watts multiply by six hours remember what size of battery bank do i need for a 500 watts load the first step multiply by runtime hours which is 500 multiplied by six. We are using six hours. Yours may be two hours or three hours. You multiply by two hours, multiply by three hours. If you are using it for 10 hours, you multiply for 500 by 10, but here is six. So 500 multiplied by six will give us 3000 watts hours because watts multiplied by hour is watt hour. Then the next step, step two is divide step one by 0 0.9. The 0 0.9 there is the inverter efficiency. So uh, we are making use of 0 0.9, which is 90%. So this will be 3,000 uh, watts hour divided by 0 0.9. We give us 
3,333.3 watts hour. Then the next step, that is step three, we multiply uh, step two by days of autonomy. Days of autonomy. These are the days that uh, uh, you will not be having uh, enough sunshine to charge the battery. That is cloudy days or rainy days. There will be no sun. But you want the battery bank to sustain the loads. Or you are not having an external charging source, either from the grid or from the generator. So you take into consideration days of autonomy, that the system will operate without an external you know, charging source, either from the solar input or from your AM grid power or generator. So here we are going to make use of two days of autonomy. So we are multiplying step two by uh, days of autonomy. We are using two. So this will be 3,333.3 uh, multiplied by two. We have 6,006. 167 approximately 6,667 watts hour. Then step four, <clears throat> we divide step three by temperature compensation factor. You know, when charging and discharging the batteries, you know, there will be changes in temperature and, you know, temperature also affects the lifespan of a battery, affects the performance of a battery, affects the durability of a battery so we are taking temperature into consideration so the temperature compensation factor here is 90 percent which is 0 0.9 so if we divide step three by the temperature compensation factor of 0 0.9 this will be 6667 divided by 0 0.9 we have seven we have seven thousand four hundred and it's 7,408 watt hour. Then step five, we divide step four by the DOD, that is the depth of discharge. What percentage of uh, discharge are we going to use for this battery bank? The depth of discharge is the amount of uh, uh, energy you are going to take from that battery bank. If you take 50%, it means you'll be discharging that battery. 50%, uh, you'll be taking 50% of that battery every day to power your load. For this calculation, we are going to make use of 60% DOD, and that will be 0 0.6. So this will be uh, 7,408 watts hour divide 0.6 to give us 12,347 approximately then the last step will be divide step five by the system voltage this is 12,347 watt hour so we are going to divide this step five by the system voltage that is uh, the nominal system voltage is it 12 volt 24 or 48 volt system it means uh, your inverter if we choose 12 volt it means you you will need a 12 volt inverter for this battery bank. If we choose 24 volts, it means we are going to use 24 volt inverter for this battery bank. If we choose 48 volts, we are going to use a 48 volt inverter for this battery bank. Now, since the daily energy consumption, this is what we are having now. This is what we have. After dividing by our DOD, is 12,000. So it is high. It will not be good to use uh, a, a 12 volt inverter or a 24 volt system. So 20, 40, 48 volts will be better. So we are going to make use of 48 volts. So it will now be 12,347 divided by 48 volts. This is a watt hour. So let's see what we have. So our battery bank capacity will be 257. Point two two eh. So that is uh, let's just take two hundred and fifty seven amps hour. 
So this is the size of the battery bank we need for 500 watts load that we'll be using for six hours every day. If we have a 500 watt load and we are using it for six hours every day, we will need a battery bank size of uh, 257 amps hour. So this is uh, 48 volts, 257 amps hour. Now, uh, it may be difficult for you to get uh, a single 12 volt battery that is rated at 257 uh, watts amps hour, sorry. Like this one, this 12,347, if it is a lithium battery, you can use a single lithium battery of maybe 12.5 uh, kilowatts hour lithium battery. But uh, if you are using flooded gel battery that uh, you need to connect, uh, uh, you need to connect four of them in series, 12, four, uh, four pieces of 12 volts batteries. You connect them in series to give you 48 volts. So, uh, since it will be difficult for us to get it like that, we can use uh, 150 amps hour battery. If we use 150 amps hour battery, the battery bank will look like this. So the space is small, but this is how the battery bank will look. We have the first ones here. Two, three, four. We have another set. So <clears throat> if you connect them in series, positive, negative. So you connect this in series. So here, we'll choose our batteries to be 12 volts, we are going to use a 12 volt, uh, 150 amps hour battery. 12 volt, 150 amps hour battery. So here, this first uh, series uh, connection will give us 48 volts, 150 amps. This next one here will give us uh, 48 volts, 150 amps. So we are going 150 amps hour. So we are going to parallel them positive to positive. Then we parallel this one also negative to negative. So here is uh, 150 AH. It is 12 volt. All the batteries here, they are 12 volt, 150 amps hour. 12 volt, 150 amps hour. Now after connecting in series, one, two, three, four, connected in series, the voltage will double since they are 12 volts batteries. So this will give us 48 volts, 150 amps hour battery bank. Then the next one will give us, well, since they are also 150 amps hour, 12 volts, also connected in series, to give us 48 volts, 150 amps hour. Remember, if you connect in series, voltage will double, but the capacity in amps hour will remain the same. So since we have connected these ones in series, their voltage will double to 48 volts, but the capacity in amps hour, which is 150 amps hour, will still remain the same. The same thing applies to this string, uh, 48 volts, 150 amps hour. Now we parallel them. We now connect them in parallel. We connect this set and this set in parallel. So what we are having now is, if you connect in parallel, Capacity in amps hour will double, but the voltage will remain the same. So this is 48 volts, 48 volts, 48 volts, 150 amps hour, 48 volts, 150 amps hour. So after connecting in parallel, we will now have, uh, this will be our battery bank. It will now be 48 volts, uh, 300 amps hour. Although what we are having is 257 uh, amps hour, but uh, we want to increase it to uh, give us 48 volts, 300 amps hour, depending on the size of batteries you have in the market. If you have, uh, let's assume you have 12 volts, uh, you have a, if you can get a 12 volt battery, a battery that is rated 12 volts, 120 amps hour. If you connect these two in series, this will be 120 amps. 
and uh, the other one also will be 120 amps so what will be you'll be having is still uh 240 amps hour it is not up to 257 then you can go for two uh, 12 volts 130 amps hour if you can get that battery or 12 volts 140 amps hour but if you cannot get them the ones that are uh, common uh, you can easily get 12 volts 150 amps hour battery so if you connect the two in uh, that is you have a series you connect them in series you have 48 volts 150 48 volts 150 you now connect them in parallel to give you 48 volts 300 amps hour so uh, that would be this would be the size of the battery bank we need for this 500 watt uh, load but if you need a single battery you can go for a lithium battery of 48 volts uh, 12.5 kilowatt our battery so it will still do the same work well let's say you want to make use of a lithium uh, battery let's assume we are making use of a lithium battery uh where this place this step five where we divided by 0.6 if it is lithium battery we can make use of 0.8 so if we divide uh, if we divide 7408 by 0 0.8 which is 80 percent if it is lithium battery we'll be having 9260 watts hour so we can go for a 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery but it must be a 48 volt battery so this is for lithium battery you can see that when you increase the dod the you the energy that you you can take from that battery bank will be higher so um we have uh, 0 0.8 that is 7408 uh divide by 0 0.8 it means you can discharge the battery more you can take 80 percent of that battery but if we use 60 percent it means you can just take only 60 percent but if you are using a lithium battery you can take up to 80 percent some manufacturer will say you can take up to 100 but it is not uh advisable at least 0 0.8 uh, is good which is 80 percent so that the battery lifespan will you know be longer when you use as compared to 100 percent dod so this is how to size a battery bank for the uh, capacity or the rate uh, the power of the loads you want to use uh lithium battery 10 kilowatt uh hour battery 48 volt will do the work at 80 percent dod but if you are using flooded battery, uh, tubular battery, if we use 60% uh, DOD, which is 0 0.6, it will be it, uh, 48 volt, 257 amps hour. That will be the capacity of the battery bank. But we increase it because it will be difficult for us to get this 257. We increase to 48 volts, uh, uh, 300 amps hour. So it is still uh, an advantage to you. Uh, <clears throat> because it won't be, it will make the battery to even last longer. And if you have a few loads again that you want to add, because of the capacity that has increased to 300 amps hour, you can add maybe a 50 watts load or whatever. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel. Please like this video, you know, share and also comment. Let me know where you're watching from. If you need my PDF on how to science a solar power system, there's a link on the description of this video. If you are watching from YouTube, there's a link on the comment section if you are watching from Facebook. Thank you for watching. You have a wonderful day. See you in my next video.